Hey friends. <laughs> so I, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, I am extremely terrified to do this. I have never done this before with a variegated ZZ and I'm quite terrified to be completely honest. So I have, if you guys watched my um, planty unboxing video, my emotional one where I got my Hoya Polyneura cutting and I also got my variegated ZZ. So you can already tell there is a huge difference in this guy. The leaves are starting to open up. Um, there, I mean, there is still definitely some discoloration in the leaves. I mean, it's not in the greatest shape, but I got it for a steal. So the hope is, is that I can get a really beautiful plant out of this one day. So I've done some research on this, on how to do this the right way. And so what I've read is that after shipment, you put them in water and you can either propagate them straight up in water. Um, you can propagate them straight into soil or you could propagate just the whole stem in water. But what I'm actually going to do is I want to have multiple stalks out of this. I am going to be cutting each leaf off and I might leave one leaf on. I can't decide just yet, but I want to promote growth out of this. So I kind of want to see if I can get any new growth out of the stock, but I definitely want to get growth out of these leaves. So we're going to get to cutting and I'm not going to be using the regular house scissors that I had there. I actually have a X-Acto knife that I use for my crafting. I did sanitize it though. I cleaned it off really good and I sterilized it. So that way it's not going to hurt the plant. I've got a terracotta with some of my soil mix in here that I'm going to pre-moisten and all that good stuff. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing and take you along this journey as well. So whoop, I just spilled dirt all over my desk. Here we go. So I literally just spilled dirt all over my desk over here. So that's exciting. So let's get rid of the scissors because we're not going to be doing those. I can't decide what I want to do. So from my research, what I can tell is that you need to cut like a part of this, like make sure that you're getting a good section of the stem as well. And from looking at my ZZs that I already have, I have a non-variegated regular green form and then I also have a Raven ZZ. They definitely leaf propagated in those and it looks like they just stuck it in the water. So I'm actually gonna stick this in here. There's a little bit of water at the bottom because I was watering plants. But let's go ahead and take some of my fertilized water into this. And just go ahead and get this soil pre-moistened. Right. And I am going to get a popsicle stick and really mix. that's the bubble wrap from the last video as well. I have not cleaned it up since. more moist than that so I'm gonna go in with this okay so when propagating it's best if you use pre-moistened soil so we're just going to do this So I know that this is sitting in water, but that's fine for me right now. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start cutting into this. I just, I, I'm so freaking nervous. So this leaf doesn't have very much variegation, if any at all on it, from what I can tell. So what I want is I want to leaf propagate the variegated ones for sure. And I think I'm gonna try and water propagate the stalk with the leaf attached to it. That's what I'm gonna try and do. Okay, okay, okay. I don't wanna screw this up. But that's why you guys are watching this because you wanna learn how to either do it or not do it. So I'm literally just gonna take this X-Acto knife. I'm so freaking nervous. 
Ooh, there's no going back. <laughs> Why was that so traumatic? Okay. So, first leaf. <laughs> so, this is supposed to grow a new um, bulb, essentially. But we're just going to stick this down into the dirt. Look at how big these leaves are for a ZZ though. Like seriously. Okay. All right. So on to the next one. I mean, I guess if this doesn't work, it wasn't like I spent $180 on this, which a lot of people have. spent 35 which I mean it's still $35 but it's not nearly as bad as 180 and it's a fun experiment <sighs> okay. don't ask me why I'm putting them so close to or, excuse me don't ask me why I'm putting them so close together because I don't know that's just how they look in my um normal ZZ pots. Okay, so last cut. Everything says to get as close to the actual stem as possible, so that's what I'm doing. <sighs> okay, final cut. Look at how beautiful this variegation is though. God, I hope this works, I hope this works, I hope this works. We'll do this one like this. going to try and water propagate the stalk or should I just stick the stalk in the soil? Uh, I kind of want to pro water propagate it because I just want to see how it's going to look. So that's this for now. I That was nerve wracking absolutely nerve-wracking for me okay so we've got the propagations so this is what it looks like I have got these in a four and a half inch cement slash terracotta whatever you want to call it it's the brown terracotta um, like this because this is how I've seen it in my other ZZ plants is how they propagate Hi, this is editing Maggie here in my my hammock. I just realized how hit my makeup looks. <laughs> I didn't wash my face before I went to sleep the night before, and I kind of just rocked the, the second day makeup look. Please ignore that, and don't judge me for it. I am a mom of a two-year-old. And sometimes I'm too tired to wash my face. <laughs> There's no excuse for it. I apologize. <laughs> okay, continuing. So, looks like this is just going to be something that I'm going to have to update you guys in in a couple months. So, make sure that you... <laughs> subscribe and like so that way you can see what the hell goes on in two months so I will probably do like a 30-day check-in and then a 60-day check-in but I'm gonna put this in my south-facing window well it's a south-facing and north-facing window um, in my bedroom so that way it's getting lots of light because when you're propagating you need to give them more light than what you're used to giving them and yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to keep the soil nice and moist so that way it doesn't dry out, and hopefully sooner rather than later, I will have a beautiful variegated ZZ plant to show off to you guys. So that is that. This is going to go in some water propagation, and yeah, hopefully I'll get a whole stock out of this. That would be pretty legit, um, but yeah.
that's all I'm going to be doing. So thank you so much for watching this. If you liked this content, if you enjoyed watching me slice up an expensive plant to propagate it, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Leave some comments with your tips below for propagating ZZs. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, because let's just face it, you're not tired of seeing me yet. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I just wanted to update you guys. It's literally two seconds later, but this is the window sills that I have been propagating in and it's been working out really, really well for me. Um, I did have my Holly, or my Holly, my Hoya Polynura in there where that popsicle stick is, but I recently moved it over to Lekka with my variegated carry eye because I just want to see if the Lekka works better and I really hope it doesn't screw it up. But I just wanted to show you guys where I'm putting this. So I'm actually, I'm going to move this guy because I don't need him. I've got a little ceramic saucer. Move you guys over a little bit. Look at Paused because I want to give you guys accurate directions. The window on the right is south facing and the window you're seeing right now is in fact east facing. So it's going to get lots of morning light from the east and afternoon light from the south. The roots on this. Zam, daddy, zam. Um, I'm going to take this here and then I'm going to take my stock and I'm going to put it right back where it was and here for water propagation. So that's where that's going to live and I'll update you guys soon. Like, comment, and subscribe, bitches.